We measure to see how big our little unit's gonna be. So we're not gonna put in like a a sink or anything. We're not too worried about that. We just literally no, just want a wee surface so that we can like cook stuff on it and yeah, have our plates and stuff. We'll have it all the way to the back here. And yep. then to the beginning of that door really. Yeah. About ye height. Something ye like height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Luckily we have a measuring tape, so we're going to measure what ye, ye height, height is. Ye height on this we'll see. <laughs> so basically we want when the beds fully out we want it to essentially meet the cabinet so that we've got as much space as possible but then obviously once this is a couch like how it'll be most of the time we'll have like this much of like a wee kind of walkway for our legs and sit over so that we can cook and dish up and pour drinks and do whatever else so I think what our plan is first is we're just going to make the basic base just for the full length and then because obviously the van curves we're just going to try and build up from there just to make the most of all the space we've got but just so that it's a, a kind of good height so that we can have our little stove over it and a place to put our plates. We just built our little table, well not built our table yet but started to build our table so we've got the setup right. So this is how it's looking at the moment, um, obviously very bare bones but we'll obviously have a really strong piece of wood on top of here and then we'll have our little cooker be able to sit on top of it so it adds a bit of height but it's quite a good height for when you're sitting on the couch so you can just be cooking, cooking our food and dishing it out and pouring our drinks and what do you think? Yeah I'm chuffed with it so far again this is just bits of wood that we've been able to find around about the house so yes to finish off the outsides and stuff we're going to try and get some nicer pieces of wood some wee supporting beams along here and then we're going to put some tongue and groove on each side of it we're still to decide what kind of mechanism we're going to have for the door hopefully some sort of sliding thing so we'll have to leave that for the time being we don't have screws long enough to go through all this so we're just doing a wee doing a wee angle but this I mean it did work out quite well first time I was impressed it's on the inside so mm -hmm. no one's going to see it yeah um, it's about 12 and a half there, mm, 12 and a half here, so we'll just cut quite a few pieces to that size. Yeah, and just have them going up and down. Yeah. Product. No, not actually the finished product, but we did get, I'm chuffed with how far we got. This is our little table, so obviously um, we had to stop because we ran out of wood from the bed frame, so we do need to source another part for here, but as you can see it curves slightly, so that's just going to take a little bit more cutting. But this is basically the frame of it, we just put some tongue and groove on the side just so it's a slightly nicer finish and obviously we'll paint it and everything. That's quite a good size storage and then this is kind of the height of the bed so well the couch as it is so you'll have room to be able to cook everything up here and then when the bed pulls out it just comes out and basically almost meets here so the plan for the front of this I think we're just going to have some sliding doors so that it's covered um, but so it's not taking up too much more space. So yeah pretty chuffed with our progress this time and it's actually still very spacious <laughs> well I think so anyway so that's, yeah, plenty of room to be able to do all our cooking, drinking, everything that needs to be done here. And then maybe going to look at like tiling the backsplash <laughs> or something like that. And then maybe some more storage overhead, but we'll suss that out when it comes to it. But yeah, looking not bad. Well, when I say not bad, it's looking very rough, but it's a good base. So we picked up some oh. vinyl. A lovely, lovely colour. Best in the shop. We had some conversations. It wasn't my first pick, but, but it'll now that do. You can see it. it oh, looks lovely. lovely. My only issue is that it's quite multicoloured. That's not really my vibe. <laughs> multicoloured. But. Well, you'll see it and you'll love it when it's in the van, I think. I'm sure I will. So, I'm going to go all over the floor so it'll look nice and a bit more finished. Just like home away from home. This here can drop down right onto the ground. I think it looks brilliant already. 
this here will drop down onto the... See this end here? That's going to be under the bed. That's going to have the cooler on it. Right. Yeah, so there's that. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we've just stuck some of the edges of the vinyl down with this. So this is our little cabinet table. Well, the bare bones of it anyway. But earlier on, Ryan had just cut out a little hole because... For our control panel that you have here. Lots of scary wires out the back, but it looks pretty snazzy from the front. Something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll be able to have our USB plugs. There's a cigarette one there and oh, control our switches. lights and our fans and stuff. Put yep. them on there. So now that looks pretty so. good. And then we're going to put just a shelf in here just because it is actually quite tall, which is good. So it just means that we'll be able to store more stuff. So, so we're going to use this MDF. Source this bit. This was um, my mum's from our um, doll's Doll house, house days. <laughs> so <laughs> coming into still tiny, tiny houses, but slightly less tiny. <laughs> For the door, we're planning to put a little pop-up table that will just come up like this. So we've cut this little bit of wood here, um, which we're going to attach with these brackets, so one on either side. And then hopefully it should just kind of hide away during the day and be flat, like this, and then pop up. That one's underneath this bracket. Hmm. How do we? Um, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> An angle. That's a bit strange. <laughs> Did you bring the shelf? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were screwing holes in the door first. Point to them. Yeah. Do you concur? Sure. We hopefully have caught me. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ryan. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry. I didn't even see you there. You're a It's your cameo, Bradders. Right. There you go. Bradders, the first one to make a, an appearance in the videos. So, we've just popped some little felt feet on the bed so that we're just attaching it with this sticky glue that we used for just about everything else in the van um, but just so that when we're sliding the feet out it hopefully doesn't ruin our lovely new flooring <laughs> Perfect-ish. <laughs> mm -hmm. 